He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the T. It's Gary, baby. All right, six minutes after the hour, Gary has the T and the clue of the day about the you buy. Always ultra thin. Always ultra thin with always triple protection system. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak free, odor free comfort on your period with always ultra thin. What's up, Gary? Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Ricky, it was a very sad day recently, y'all, for T.I. and Tiny. It's being reported, y'all, that their son, King, got into a screaming match, y'all, with a Waffle House employee. They're saying, <laughs> y'all, after the employee allegedly disrespected that child. Now, they're saying, y'all, that um, um the, uh, King, you know, who's still in high school, they say, honey, clearly overact, overreacted, y'all, to the Waffle House employee, and they said that some choice words were being said. Now, now according to T.I., who is King's father, they say, and who is an um, active parent, they say he addressed the incident in a separate video. Now, um, they're saying, y'all, that T.I. asked the folks, honey, on Twitter, y'all, to give his teenager son a break, honey, as he is just a child, Ricky, and is prone to making mistakes. Now, they're saying the King of the South also offered some um, advice to his son. Now, they said he advised the young man to not argue, Ricky, with people who are not on his level in life. Now, they're saying uh, some of the T.I.'s followers um, on Instagram said, of course, he said he spoke with his son. He said he and his uncles, and he said they were perplexed by his necessity to just go back and forth, honey, with a short order cook. He said, I didn't understand why he felt the need to stop what he was doing to engage someone who's not or who's at another level in life, unquote. So, so Ricky, y'all have kids. Yeah, I, I might disagree with that a little bit because some people uh, go to school to be cooks, you know, and, uh, you know, being a cook is, is not a bad thing because somebody got to cook the food, you know, uh, that part. or whatever. So I, I, I wouldn't look at you know, a short order cook. It, it, Whopper House is, is damn. I love every single last cook that cook at the Whopper House that have made my Whopper extra crispy and made me right. some hash brown scattered, smothered, Scat covered. <laughs> Dice and chunked. Preach. Yeah, well, Come on, I don't, I don't look down. So, but what, what, what we should, uh, or whatever, he probably just, he probably, I, I felt what he's saying, but this is just the part he probably missed. No matter what people do, whether they clean up, whether they take out trash, be respectful to everyone. And sometimes it's just okay, you know, just, just to walk away. But many teenagers be hyped. They see other people doing it they in the videos, do. and they, um, they, they, you know, when they grow up and stuff, and and they they start feeling themselves, and testosterone kick in, and puberty, and they want to be be hard and stuff, and they they just they just do that sometimes. So it, it's because for me. With my little one, with my eight-year-old, you know, sometimes they feel like they know everything, and sometimes they are right, you know, but at the end of the day, you're still a child. And if someone of authority is telling you to do something or asking you to do something out of just sheer respect, you teach your child to listen to authority. Yeah, but if y'all rich and y'all raising these kids rich and stuff, they don't understand We at the Waffle House. So it don't matter. We all on the same level. Yeah, we over and, here getting and sometimes waffles. Sometimes to not ensue and make the situation worse, just say what you want. And if they don't give you what you want, just go to another Waffle House to 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 keep all that down. Like you yeah. don't nobody want don't nobody want no smoke and all them problems. Mm-hmm. And, you know. Yeah, well, because between well, we just, Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Florida and Georgia, they on every damn corner. Everyone. So, uh, yeah, two things you can find: a liquor store, Waffle House, and a Baptist <laughs> church. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, honey. You better yeah, tell you him. Ain't never lie. All right. Well, moving on, honey. And other celebrity news, y'all. Fat Joe, honey, he revealed that his huge, scary entourage, y'all, once cost him a $2 million check. Now, he said the man said, he said he went to places called Jimmy Bronx Cafe. He said when he got up there, honey, there was about 100 gangsters standing in front of you. He said, and you were just there sitting in the chair. He said, I was, honey, went past the first 10. Somebody grabbed me. Somebody grabbed him in the chest and told him that. That, you know, he couldn't talk to Don and whatever. And so I guess he went on, honey, and paid all his money, which a lot of celebrities do. Why y'all pay all this money for these entourages and, and they do do stuff like that? Ricky, why you never had an entourage? Mm-mm. Brad, Brad, that's a good question for Brad because Brad, Brad is a rapper and she's seen a lot of that stuff. Uh, uh, Brad, well, what is it? 
I mean, you kind of you kind of have an entourage, so you don't really have to do stuff. Like most of the time, it's your it's your road manager. Some if you're on the road, and then if you somewhere, somebody might bother you. You kind of have a security person, and, and maybe a friend or something. But I, four people, three, four people, that's enough for me. All the other people that are not there or just there to hang out and party, like I'm kind of over that. We used to do that back in the day, but it mm-hmm. causes trouble. Yeah. Like people that just come to party and drink and get drunk, like they they don't understand the bigger picture. If something go down. Now, it's Brat did it. Wow. It's from Brat Crew. Brat was out of the club and Brat did it. They ain't going to say they yeah, names. Yeah, all come you know? back to you. And, right. and then you become, uh, they become a liability at that point. Yes, yes. Wow. So do you pay them in cash or you pay them in, in trade? <laughs> like, you know, you give them some airtime. You or mean your entourage? Yeah. No, the people the people get paid. Now, the other people might just be coming to hang out, but the, the, the security guard and the road manager and the people that are there to work are there to work, and the they job. understand that. Mm. But when you start inviting all the extra people just trying to be a good person and let everybody have fun, that's when they get messy. Oh. Mm-mm. Because, honey, I mean, ooh, I guess child. Because you give them W-2 forms, too, then, I guess. And, and you can write them off, though. W-9. Not the, not the extra people. Oh, you can write the... off the people you pay. Yeah. Oh, but oh. You, they should know. The people you pay them been around you long enough to, to know how to act. Mm. All right, there you have it. All right, the Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua. My Kahlua today has pepperoni. On the high end, you say pepperoni, and on the low end, you say beautiful dark I bread. It was That's your Kahlua for today. Oh, salami. Same thing, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> it's meaty. <laughs> I know it's one of them. All right, y'all, give it up. Give it up. I'll do it for you. Y'all, give it up for Gary with the team. Hey. Uh, Coming up next, man, we about to talk about what y'all already know what we about to talk about. Because, you know, I'm a comedian. We got uh, two or three comedians on this show. And we about to talk about it. Up next, Rick's Mind of Morning Show. Uh-oh. It's so hard just holding on.